<coughs> and good morning YouTube welcome back once again to Harley Day Rider I am HDR or Harley Day Rider bringing you on this lovely ride this morning on the way to work um, <laughs> and I know we talked about this the other day one day what day maybe it was Tuesday or Monday maybe uh, about the chili lakes I got I'm gonna order those lowers I think today and I'm not gonna put it off any longer hey if you're looking to order uh, Harley parts and this is no why no way a, a, a commercial or anything like that I mean they don't pay me anything for this but I believe if I find good prices I'm gonna push that out to you guys watching and uh, let you at least look at their site and see what you think and I don't even know how they lower their prices to these points but check out houseofharley.com houseofharley all one word dot com and you'll know you're at the right place because they're in Milwaukee is where they're at and uh, I, I don't know if it's part of the you know the Harley Davidson company or it looks like it's an independent dealer uh, but uh, that's where I bought my uh, my pipes at and you know I saved about uh, somewhere like fifty dollars off of any other retail outlet for these pipes um, so it, it's really worth it but I was looking at the uh, the soft lowers at the local Harley shops here they're I think they're 99 bucks where there I think I can get them for I think they're right now they're on sale for like $74 so that's a pretty good savings and uh, and they normally from what I remember they normally have free shipping uh, so check it out anyway but this morning I wanted to talk about, I thought it was really cool. Uh, it came across my Facebook page, and I was looking around, and how about Harley Davidson came out with that new, uh, the new engine for 2017, huh? Uh, they're calling it the Milwaukee 8. The Milwaukee 8. It's 170, uh, it's 107, uh, what would that be, 107? cubic inch engine uh, but that's not the only thing they're putting on their new touring bikes how about that they're putting new suspension on their new touring bikes which I think is really really uh, uh, amazing not that I mean this is a 2011 and I think the suspension has been uh, really good on this bike uh, I think I can't complain at all about the suspension uh, even when my wife rides I bought one of those little pumps for the touring bikes if you have a touring bike you'll know what I'm talking about there's a little air pump it's 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 maybe only about um, maybe six inches long uh, just a little hand pump you plug it into your uh, you screw it onto your back shocks and you can pump them shocks up uh, and something about and I don't remember I'm not a mechanic but some they talk about how they preload or how they load up and uh, when you have weight on is when you pump it up. So if I'm taking my wife somewhere, my wife's a small girl, you know, she's not really heavy at all. You guys have seen her in the video, so you know that she's not really big. But if we're going somewhere and we pack the, the touring bags down with our luggage and we uh, load it up, I'll pump that thing up to usually no more than 30 pounds. I try to stick around 25. Some guys will tell you to pump it, you know, a little bit more than that, but uh, it seems to work out for us pretty well. But anyway, yeah, back to this bike, man. Uh, so, the local Harley dealer that just got a shipment in posted some pictures this morning uh, of them unloading their trucks. And I right away sent them a message back. I said, well, when are you guys going to be having a demo event? <laughs> uh, and I'm sure they'll get back to me and tell me, come out and demo it anytime I want. Uh, because they, they do that. They'll take you out and demo the bikes. Uh, whenever you feel like it now, I did tell mrs. HDR because remember we were looking at the rim cook-off we were looking at um, uh, what the heck was it uh, I think it was a 20 I think it was a 20 2014 uh, we were looking at a 2014 Harley and uh, yeah, it's at the 103 engine and it which is which is a very nice powerful motor anyway and they run really really well like I said, I can't complain about this bike. This bike has a 96 cubic inch engine in it, and it runs extremely well. I've been very pleased with it. Uh, it's very fast, very responsive. 
But I told her, I said, whoa, hon, I said, good thing I didn't, you know, you, I didn't talk you into letting me buy that bike this past weekend. And she said, why? I said, Harley just came out with a new one, a new motorcycle. Well, not a new motorcycle, I said, but a new engine on their touring bikes and new suspension. And she goes, well, what does that mean? I said, well, it means I want one. What do you, what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> but, uh, so she, uh, she, uh, very, very abruptly said no. Um, no, I still, I still owe money on this one. So, of course, I didn't buy it in 2011. But, uh, you know, you, you guys know, I bought it, what, like last year, year before. So, and you make payments on something, I still owe money on it, you know, and, I, and I've been paying more than what the payments are, so that pushed my, and that's funny too, I look at my Harley statements and it says like, your next payment's due in December, uh, you know, because I'm pushed out so far. And if you could do that, that's a good thing to do with any any finance company. But it's really nice with Harley, because they, they push it towards the principal and you, you cut your interest rates down a little bit. But, yeah, so, I mean, I'm in good standings with them. So, I'm sure if I go down to the Harley door and say, look, I want to trade my 2011 on one of those brand-new, shiny 2017s, I'm sure they're going to push the paperwork in front of me and say, here you go, Mr. HDR. Just sign here, and here's the keys. But, uh, so, yeah. So, i got to stay away from the Harley door. I might go down and demo it. If I do, I'll take you guys with me. Uh, I know a lot of you out there talk, you don't get a chance to demo on uh, motorcycles. So if I get a chance to demo one of these new uh, touring bikes, I will definitely do that. I want to tour. I want to test out one of the street glides and uh, one of the ultras just to uh, see how they how they run with that new engine. And it's got to be pretty awesome. Uh, there is some videos up on YouTube already of the uh, from the Harley dealer showing you the suspension and stuff. So uh, I think you might uh, enjoy that. Check those out. Anyway, folks. Uh, this is about where I break it off, so uh, thanks for riding along with me. And it's funny, when I'm talking, I'm not as cold. I think because I'm not thinking about the cold air banging across my legs. Uh, and I know i got to buy chaps uh, or those lowers. I'm going to try the lowers first. If I can get the wind off my feet and the bottom of my legs, I think I would be just fine. Uh, maybe get some wind deflectors for down here in the bottom. Uh, push that wind down, I don't know. I'll have to look. There's another guy riding his bike on the way to work. That's a good thing. Because tomorrow, it is going to storm. So it's going to be a little rainy tomorrow. So anyway, this is the light where I usually say goodbye to everybody. And, uh... And that looks like a Harley. So this is about where I say goodbye to everybody, so have a great day today. And uh, let me know what you think about that new 107 engine, huh? You gonna run out and buy one? Hey. Uh, but once I told Mrs. HDR that they're gonna be about 23, you know, you look at 23, $24,000 for, for a uh, street glide uh, or a road glide, or you know, you look at, she looked at one down there the other day for like, so it's like 37,000 maybe for an ultra. Uh, it must have, I, I would think it was a play of CVOs what she was looking at, but, but yeah, so. Let me know what you think. I will talk to you uh, next time. Uh, probably, well, not, maybe not tomorrow because it's supposed to thunderstorm, so I'll probably be taking the cage to work. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for riding along with me, folks. Thanks for staying in there, subscribing to me. And, uh, don't forget to give a thumbs up on this video and uh, let me hear what you have to say about the new bikes. Uh, it's fogging up a little bit out here, huh? I'll talk to you next time. Harley Day Rider is going to be down and out once again in southwestern Pennsylvania. Remember, ride your own ride. Be safe out there. Talk to you later. Bye-bye for now. Whoa, I really can't see. <laughs>